Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, wherever you are in the world, I hope that you're staying safe and healthy during this tough time. Um, at the moment here in Australia, we haven't been completely locked down yet. Um, if you're at home, you know, keep practicing your healthy hygiene, keep you and your family safe, and um, sit back and enjoy this episode. Cheers, guys. All right, so we're just gonna show you how we make our mixes here in Australia, how I mortar up. So, what you've seen, come have a look. I've already put some water in there. I fill it up just to the end of the legs there, followed by a cap of this plasticizer. Just makes it a lot more workable for a lot more longer. So I'll put a cup in there. Let me switch it on. If it goes on, if it's plugged in, then it's plugged it in. One moment, I'll plug it in. Yeah. Grab our bag. Make sure we're away from all the dust that's flying up in the air. Right. Once we've got our cement mix mixing in, all right, we'll shovel this hydrated line. This is the stuff that you don't want to breathe in, you want to avoid getting this into your system. So put in a shovel of our uh, hydrated lime, and I like to let that mix for about a, just under a minute. Right, so there's no clumps of the cement and lime. Just let that mix in with that turn. You see I've got a fair bit of water in there at the moment. Once that mixed in for about a minute, avoid all them clumps. We've got our uh, buckets here ready. What we like to do is our ratio is six buckets. So the ratio is six to one, cement and sand. So we'll let that mix in a bit more. In we go with our buckets. Six. It's been in for about a minute now, just turning around in there. I'm gonna wait till it's all in one big clump, and I call it a sausage. So I'll wait till it gets in that big sausage formation. Generally leave it for about five minutes or so, just mixing in. That way we're not adding too much water and making the mix too wet. Let's have a look again. We come back to it, it's starting to take its shape now. Got the sausage formation there. It's rolling off the back nicely, as you can see there. How do we know when it's ready? So what I like to do is to test the string. Get a bit on. See if it's not still falling off. rolling off all together now. We, we aren't seeing separated clumps. We're seeing a nice big roll at the moment. Nice big roll. Cement falling off nice at the back. It feels workable in the hand. Well, I'm feeling it with the trail here. Nice and fluffy. There it goes. See that holding on there? That's really dipping forward. Now 
guys, I'm running my string line on top of the two courses that me and Dino have already put down um, prior to coming here today. I'm just chucking my steel corner blocks on. And this new steel corner block I've come across at the start, I was a bit confused as to why this had a longer edge. As you can see, this edge sort of comes out further than the profile. And um, I was a bit unsure as to why that was. It was a bit frustrating at first, but now I've realized what you can do not have to worry about whether you're hitting the line if I'm on this straight run of this side I'm just pushing my brick right up against that and as you can see you just push your brick right up to there and it keeps this edge nice and square so that's the one I'm using at the moment for the BT BT engineering um, steel dory blocks so I think for me what I've noticed lately with using them it's a lot of help just push it right up against there keep that edge nice and straight there they go for me hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust yeah no, I don't want to 
done as high as we go. I think it's about 21 courses up. Dino also did the return panel there. So it's been a good couple of hours. Now we're gonna start the other half of the garage. And yeah, try and get that up to the same height. So that's today done, about two o'clock. I've had enough, as you see. Got the wall up to 23 courses high. So bit of a bit of a reach there. 22, I think it was, 22 courses. Here's a look at the wall up close. And a bit of a return there. Here's Dino, he's happy about the pack up. Woo! And there's also a return that Dino did this morning. Another, another little four and a half panel section for Dino. So that's us. We're gonna pack up for the day. Um, set up for tomorrow. Set the profiles up down that run. We'll bring his with us. Um, we'll do that section tomorrow. So that's a wrap for today, guys. Um, Hope everyone's keeping safe um, and healthy, looking after your family. So finally, we'll get a bit more action this week for you guys. So hope you enjoy the videos. Let me know what you want to see. Appreciate all the feedback. Leave a like, leave a comment down below, and um, make sure you subscribe for more, more content coming this week. Lots more bricks to put in. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode.